Harry's gonna say a few words, friends, about salt curing hog meat. Made a video the other day of us cutting up some what we call midland meat or side meat, hog belly. There's a lot of different names for it. Pretty well simple. We'll kill early in the morning. Bring them in here, lay them on these tables. Let them cool out all day, 24 hours. Won't touch them. Let the animal heat get out of it till the next day. Then we'll go to working it up, cutting it up, trimming it up. These tables are just old wooden tables. We'll come in here, utilize what we have. We'll put a layer of newspaper down. Then we'll put a fine layer of salt across there to lay the middlings or fat back, ham, whatever you want to put on to salt down. Get this soft salt, meat curing salt. We get ours at the farmer's co-op. They different places you can get it. It's the way we've done it forever. There's all different kinds of ways to do it. This is just the way we do it. We get our salt down there. You put a fine layer down, then you lay your middling down there. Then you'll take you some more salt, sprinkle all over the top of your middling, just cover it up lightly, down the sides, and it'll soak that salt right in there. Next day you come out and check it. But tuck all that in, lightly salt it again. You might do that every other day for a few days. It'll finally take all it wants down. It just takes so much. What it's doing, the salt is going in the meat and it's pulling the water out, curing it out. And the salt going through it gives it a good taste. That's an old method of doing stuff. That's the way they've done it for hundreds of years, generation after generation. It's pretty well simple. We'll leave it laying out here in the smokehouse to cure, depending on the weather. Anywhere in four to six weeks. That's why you kill in the winter time in nature's freezer when it's cold, you can leave it laying out here. After four to six weeks, depends on how the weather is. You take, cut it up, wrap it, put it in the freezer till you eat it up. Makes real biscuits and gravy. You grow it yourself, you know what you got. Back years ago, that's the way everybody used to do it. You can smoke it. That's a whole other process. It takes a lot more to keep it. The way we do it is just salted pork. It takes in salt out here in the smokehouse, then you put it in the freezer and eat on it that way. You can sugar cure it. You can smoke it, but that's a whole other half a day explanation explaining. Uh, the old timers, just the way they done it, salt curing makes darn real eating. It stay with you. Anybody can eat that. If you'll get out and work and sweat and work it off, you can't eat stuff like that, hog meat and all, and lay on the couch and expect it not to hurt you. All the old timers work like mules. Everything they done was physical work from cutting tobacco to slinging square hay bales to cutting timber with cross-cut saws, axes, stuff like that. You need energy. You need food to go do a real day's work in the field. That's how all the old timers lived to be 90 and 100 years old. They work like mules and they eat anything they wanted because they needed fuel to put in a day's work. That's the way they used to do it back in the Depression days, friend. That's the way parents and grandparents used to do it. Everybody needs to go back to it. There's a handful of folks out there that still does it nowadays. Need to be more take it up. Learn these old ways of doing stuff. Y'all have a good evening, friend. That's just a tidbit of the way we do things and 